It's Two Jerks and Some Guests, a comedic look at the news you never knew existed with your hosts, Josh and Jason. (laughs) This ought to be fucking good. God, Space Jam is the shittiest fucking film ever created. The actual concept of the movie is dumb as hell. You're fucking insane. Yeah, that's crazy. (laughs) All right, so... Just fuck you, Ziggy. Um, that's all I gotta say to that. Um, but so we're back here with two jerks uh, today. Uh, obviously, every, like every day, it's me and Jason. We're joined by like every fucking time, Ziggy. Any answer? I, uh, uh, my question is: is like I don't know why it's still called two jerks if I'm on every episode. You're on every episode. Like, Remember, you're shouldn't our... it be three and a half jerks? Yeah, <laughs> like, like, wow, it's mm-hmm. a fat joke. Yeah, fat joke on you. <laughs> we're joined by my good buddy Mike. Um, how you doing? How you doing? And uh, Mike, you, you, one of, he's got like some of the coolest stuff on his YouTube page. Like, I don't subscribe to many YouTube pages, but I subscribe to his because it's either him completely making fun of his best friends during wrestling events. <laughs> totally. <laughs> or, or test driving some of the coolest cars you'll ever see. You had me at making fun of his best friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Because that's exactly what I do. So I there's one video that he just put up, and I'm going to do your YouTube channel, where his friend thought that Charlotte Flair, who is the women's world champion and all this stuff, was DMing him. And he grabbed his... <laughs> you wait, hold on a second. You hold convinced him that, yeah. he, that Charlotte Flair, Ric Flair's daughter, <laughs> who is the world champion on SmackDown... Correct. ...was was in your DMs. Yep. That's exactly it. Well, he, showed, his, he thought so he was in you his cat DMs fishing your own buddy. No, 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 no. Somebody was catfishing him. So I totally... I said, do you really believe this? And so we went into it. The person gave him a phone number a Google number and everything, and we went into it, and we kept on talking back and forth with this Charlotte Flair, and he believed it. He believed so it all wait, the way wait. through. And so he, hit he me was four days later. Oh, yeah. He was getting catfish, but I'm like, I'm not having this, but I'm going to have fun with it. So we just kept on going, and I kept on asking him, do you really believe this? And as the video goes on, I'm like, how much do you believe this? The more and more I tried to prove it. Mm-hmm. And some guy sent him a picture of himself, some random dude, but he still believed it. Even three days after the video... He continued to talk to this stranger. My favorite part is Mike gets on his phone and Mike goes, "Here's Charlotte Flair's real profile. She's got 21.5 or 2.5 million, million followers. Yep. Mm-hmm. This person's got 213. Exactly. <laughs> it's like the oh, guy still amazing. wouldn't believe it at that point. I'm so gonna catfish you at some point. <laughs> I'm just letting you know That's that now. Perfectly fine. Not with Charlotte Flair though, because well, you don't know who that is. I don't. <laughs> That's true. But I will figure it. Somebody, Scar- Scarlett Johansson contacts you. Just believe it. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll believe it. There we go. It's wishful thinking. Wishful <laughs> thinking belief. But, um, so give us give us a little rundown of what you got on your channel. Like, what's some videos coming up and stuff like that? Some of our followers. Right. So, um, not to be all serious, but I was diagnosed with heart failure about five years ago. And um, everything got better and then got worse. And then I ended up getting a heart pump put in, which you see in my battery. So I'm like a walking iPod. So um, I plug myself in every night, and that's pretty much it. But the reason why. You have auxiliary cord? Have yeah, a, we have were a already making jokes. <laughs> Dude, I, bring I, was, it in. I was already making jokes. Yeah. About my, it wife, already. Was already my wife is the most brutalist person that you can <laughs> I love it. Oh, cool. So you have one oh, too. Every day. Is, is, she, is she really pretty? Because mine's oh. very pretty and oh, super yeah. mean, so I have to take it. She is gorgeous. My see, wife is, yeah, yeah, I got her at a young age. She didn't know anybody better so there you go. That's pretty much it. same yeah so <laughs> mine still waited 10 years after because we were we were we she was in love with me forever oh, God, he hates the story because it's so true uh, uh and then she's way out of my league even then the worst part is she corroborates it so well not just that but she's like, like i got like married had all this, I did this and, and, I then, did that. and then we i wanted that stinky I, little paint <laughs> and then we got back to and we got together finally and oh yeah she's so we talk about all the time she's so brutal but oh, it's like, she's, she's so incredibly funny. pretty, so right. I'm like, I'll take it. She's I'll so funny. It. Right. Oh, yeah. my God, she gives us such good inf- ammo on him. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not even funny. I yeah. can't, like, about 80% of my YouTube videos go out the window just because my wife says something in the background that I can't post. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, that's my it. God. Oh, I, like I said, I, I was, love this woman. Oh, yeah, man. We I did. love her. So, like, um, we did some, I was doing some motivational stuff, doing um, push-ups and things like that mm. for my, about my situation. So, right. every time I did some push-ups, my wife would yell in the background, cock! 
fuck. Because she knew I can't post that on Instagram. So I would do like 20 push-ups the next thing you know. Hi, you pussy. So, yeah. so she's interrupting your inspirational video. Exactly. What is her last name? We might Fruit. be we might yeah. be related. Yeah. Uh, we <laughs> might be we might be family. This might be family. Yeah, that, that might be true. Because this know. sounds exactly like what I do. You have similar beards. <laughs> <laughs> Your mustaches are strangely yes. dark. <laughs> So um, uh, yeah, so that's what the channel is about. It's pretty much. Um, anyways, uh, when I basically got out of my situation, I pretty much almost died. So um, yeah, we I'd, were as his friends. We all saw all this on. Facebook and uh, of course it, everybody sent their goodwills and stuff like that and, and wish you the best and everything but that was that was some scary shit. Yeah I just couldn't believe it and just I'm, I've always been healthy so I thought and so pretty much my goal was when I got out of that I'm like when I get out of the bed I'm just gonna live life to the fullest do exactly what I always say I'll do that tomorrow I'll do that tomorrow I'll do that tomorrow so right when I got out the hospital I bought my challenger from my hospital bed, I pretty much called the bank and I said, look, when I got out, I didn't drive my car for two months, it just sat in my driveway. I bought that thing, I went ahead, I started the YouTube, well the YouTube channel was already big. I got lucky with that one, off a wrestling video. Mm -hmm. That was it. I got th I got a thousand subscribers just from a Royal Rumble video. Nice. That was it, nice. yeah, I was like, this is awesome. Yeah, it's all that's, it takes, that's, yeah. what I've, that's what I've been saying, you just get that one, that yep. one video. Got my real estate license, went ahead and started doing that. and. Pretty much where I'm at now. It's just pretty much living life and doing what I got to do. Nice, you know, That's awesome. That is. It's it. actually very cool. Um, and I did, I did see one so thing. Um, I don't know if the, I don't know if it's still up. You were doing the GoFundMe for the, um, the people on the Heart Ward. Correct. I would. Yeah. I'm going to tag that in this video. Definitely, yeah, we'll, we'll put it in the description and everything. Yeah. So what, what is that? So this is a Christmas at Chan's. If you, it's on GoFundMe, and basically the goal is to raise $4,800 for the two, um, there's two uh, floors for the cardiovascular unit in uh, Shantz. Mm -hmm. And of the 100 floor, 100, I'm sorry, there is 48 rooms. So my goal was to raise $100 <laughs> for each room and then buy Christmas presents for the patients at Shantz. Oh, that's nice. I know that's when I was dope. there for two months, I just it just drove me bonkers, mm -hmm. you know, sitting in a room and then just not being able to be in contact with anybody. Mm -hmm. So that's what the whole point of that is to kind of just give them some Good things. And if I go over the 48, I would like to help the give the doctors and some nurses who have to work over Christmas. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, right, yeah, yeah. right. Well. Yeah, give them some stuff. Yeah. Oh, Definitely. Yeah. Well, like this was all this this whole situation. He actually contacted me when my dad had his heart attack because mm. he was going through yeah. his thing when mm. my dad had his heart attack. Oh, oh okay. And so it's recent. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. 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 So I'm coming um, up with my one year anniversary with this guy. So. Yeah, and my dad just had his one year anniversary. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like they were, they were literally like weeks after yeah. each other, and um, but yeah, you, honestly, I played football with this guy. I played basketball in high school with this guy. We played everything. We did everything. Was he just and as uncoordinated then as he absolutely. is now? Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, he, can barely, he literally can barely walk from the door to yeah. here without tripping on fucking was, air. I clipped on the mouse and I fell off like, air. Literally air. I'll give it to him. He was much more fit and a lot more strong. Right <laughs> right now. The so his, his titties weren't so saggy is what you're saying? <laughs> That's right. They were, more, they were perky then. They were perky. Perky titties. Perky, perky titties. Perky titties. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with titties. Ain't nothing wrong. But uh, let's let's. Yeah, we had to get back to that eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think things are just getting a little too real and serious here. It's, it's, it's like when we get later in the show and I have to make fun of you because I do. Um, it's it's I have to. It's just an impulse. You know what it is. Oh well, no. I mean, I was yeah. I'm gonna feel bad. Yeah, he was. He, he was the over there. Like, the he was over there, and I was making videos. fun of him. Like we were talking about if his battery died. <laughs> and then Josh is gonna have to strip strip this fucking wire and yeah. clamp it into the fucking machine. Uh, I was getting started. Is it USB? Because I got a plug. I for got you. you. Yeah, get ready, because when I um, one day I, I'm a systems engineer by you know basically I just mm -hmm. work with computers all day. And one guy came up to me and they don't care at work. They got to get their stuff done. So I'm sitting there and my battery died, like right when I'm at work. And I'm just like looking at the guy and I said, I look, I can't talk. I got to go. My battery's dying. Oh. All right, but just look at this print real quick. And I'm like, no, but really, my battery's dying. It's just beeping. 
and he's like, well, let's. I'm like, dude, I gotta go, and he did, he did not understand that that I was pretty. I was gonna die. I had to get him. We're not gonna to have a dead and project. Hold on a second. You have a dead me. Yeah. There was a guy that was like, hold on a second. So our TPS report really doesn't have. Yeah. It needs this font. What in the fuck? How did you not lose your mind? Oh, uh, dude, because I was in the middle. of the middle of a corporate meeting going on like uh, right next door. So I was like, I gotta go. Okay, I gotta, I gotta become. <laughs> become. But I'm about to get hood rat on your ass. So, <laughs> so, about just, to go hood. so real quick. So you your battery is doing what? Pumping my heart for me. Okay. So I have no pulse. Oh, right. I, I don't. They have to do some other stuff. Like yeah, catch. he's technically dead. Well, yeah. no, I'm just asking, yeah. just so you can explain to people, <laughs> yeah. so, so they're not like, like, "What the so, hell's he got a battery? Yeah, is he a it. fucking cyborg man? Yeah. Like, what is?" So uh, I've actually read about this. I'm sorry, mm-hmm. I didn't mean yeah, to interrupt. No, no I've actually read like, because of course when I worked at the hospital before, and then and I was, and I worked at different things. I never did a transplant or anything like that. But this is the most amazing thing. Like, it's a complete loop system. So whenever it's going through. Ziggy without Ziggy his, with his dim, fucking, phone. fucking phone. Every podcast is this bastard as his phone goes off. <laughs> yeah. I was actually thinking about it. Like, I hope my phone. Yeah. 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 Uh, we'll see, out. nobody loves me enough to contact me, so I'm good. Uh, <laughs> that's true. It's true. And his and his mom's <laughs> dead, so that's <laughs> the <laughs> 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 I had to sneak that one in there. She wasn't around yeah. for that it technology. Even in the middle of this. Yeah, that would suck. I would be like, wow, that's one way to end the podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I gotta go, guys. Well, no offense, that's how it ends it for you. I'll just, just, just chat to you guys yeah. later. He I'm had to leave you. real quick. We're going to Skype I, I, him in. Yeah, I'm going uh, to wheelie chair you out of the yeah, way. He's not looking so good right now. I just don't want you to throw it uh, Why is he mind. blue like that? <laughs> mm. Yeah, I just Hey, get to feeling better, buddy. <laughs> yeah, we, we have two hospitals across the street. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I guess that didn't work out like uh, Josh yeah. wanted it to. Yeah, so back to the yeah. show. Yeah, last time Josh gets to pick a guest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <he fucking> dies. <laughs> so, so how much time, like when you have the alarm, how much time does I it take? I got like here? 27 minutes. So yeah, that's that's oddly specific. Like, yeah, 20, they said like 27. They said 17 to 27 minutes. You got and because uh, it starts shit. counting down. I guess maybe that's the only time I've ever seen it. Maybe I'm not, that's minutes. fucking I'm not terrifying. happy with that. With that. 17 to 27 minutes. Yeah, what what is it, like, big, 20 minutes what, is a big ass window. Yeah, what about like, I do a what, lot of shit in 10 minutes. Like 15 minutes. to 30 you know minutes. What, like, let's, just, I'm just kidding. No, right. <laughs> so, let's not do that. <laughs> Jesus. How do you now? How do you charge it though? Um, so I have a basically a wall, it's like a basically like a big yeah. old extension cord that goes into my wall, and that's pretty much it. It's pretty cool. I'm like number one priority on all electric um, electric mm. companies. So automatically. So no matter what happens, he's gonna have power. Yeah. yeah. Next, so if that Hurricane Irma bull crap or whatever hits, yeah, so go like, to his house to so chill. So like with last year, you We're had have did margaritas you have or anything. Or I was, was in the hospital during the hurricane. During, okay. So it just happened to be that I was in right. getting my surgery right. like the week after. Oh Irma. wow. So I was in there. Jesus. I was in ICU already. So where are you at on the transplant list? I have no idea. They really don't know how to make up their minds when it comes to that. Apparently, they already had two offers and they never told me. And I'm like, you guys are not going to tell me? They said, well, we didn't run the certain numbers yet. So we had the – and it just happened to be on Wednesday we ran the numbers. Now I'm clear for a transplant okay. completely. So, But at that time, I was like, thanks for offering, you know. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, yeah. it's not – Yeah, it's yeah not how often do a heart like, replace up. your fucking pink? Yeah. 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 And it's like, yeah. I could live without that. You're like, yeah. um, yeah. I mean, a battery-operated heart right now. Yeah, that's shit. how it went there. So. <laughs> So I do want to ask because I I love the reviews that you do. What is your favorite car you've reviewed so far? Uh, believe it or not, it would be the Ford Raptor. Oh but yes, so far. Far. So go into that too because you explained it just a little bit before. So you you get to basically like you go into car dealerships and you can test drive their vehicles. Right. So I have some friends I've met actually through wrestling because okay. um, uh, one of my friends is either indie wrestler and he was actually wrestled in New Japan and all that stuff That's awesome. and um, he hooked me up with he's a car salesman he's a manager so he said hey come in you know he said one time I was test driving a lot of my cars through just meeting people mm-hmm. and he just told me he says why don't you come to Ford and test some real cars so I was like alright so I come to Ford and he lets me test his cars out one, uh, once a week I come in, Jesus. we test drive some trucks. Nice. Yeah. And so just the right Raptor. off the lot, kind of. Yeah. That thing is it's pretty. Incredible. Oh, dude, it's the meanest truck ever. It's, yeah. you know. Oh, so yeah, I'm not a big truck, tr- big truck yeah, guy, think, but that thing is. Yeah, I yeah. think most trucks are retarded. Yeah, yeah, that's a beautiful dope. truck. He actually knew me when I had the Ford Lightning. This is the second, like, 
performance truck that they tried to do, which was an off-road mm-hmm. performance Every, truck. So yeah. amazing. So was it true with the Ford Lightning, Josh could get three homeless dudes in there and suck them all off at once? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> I had heard that as a rumor. I did not know if yeah. that made it to the page or not. It was, on, it was on MySpace. <laughs> it was so, on MySpace. <laughs> 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 one of my, great, uh, one one of my favorite Dinky com- little peen peen. It's, it's a thing review. <laughs> one of my favorite comments, because I, I went through and I'm like, what are the interactions we've had on Facebook and stuff like that. I mean, because I was just doing some research on Mike, and I posted the picture of my Ford Lightning when it blew up uh-huh. and it went up in flames. <laughs> and there is a pit. There is a one comment down there, and it's just no with about twelve <laughs> O's from Mike. And I'm like, yeah, that 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 makes sense. <laughs> So yeah, definitely Ford Lightning, I mean Ford Lightning. Sorry, the Ford Raptor by far. It's the most amazing truck. Um, Five thousand dollars that thing cost. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Was, so is it like a built-in toilet? Yeah, it might as well. Is there is like, there something that's going to cook me like, eggs it's and like just bacon? Fully loaded, or? Exactly. I, here's the thing with that the the cars, and I got reamed. I did a review on a Ford Mustang. You can watch it. It's got like four thousand views. And it, mostly it's 50-50. I got 50 likes or 30 likes and 30 dislikes. Mm-hmm. And the comments that are on there, I got reamed. They People are sensitive about their Ford Mustangs. Mm-hmm. And so I was terrified to do the review on the Ford Raptor because I'm like, dude, they're going to ream me. But I ended up falling in love with the Ford Raptor by far. I thought the Mustang was a joke. In yeah. my opinion, the the four cylinder. I, ha- I have one and I hate it. I don't. I don't fit in them good. So I, I, don't like I only them have. Right I now. have one because it's my in between. My my car went to shit, and then my brother in law is like, "Hey, I have this 2003 Ford Mustang for like 1,200 bucks, and you can just pay me as okay, because I'm gonna essentially turn that into." I'm going minivan because because I'm just I want comfort I want the room right I hate that that's how it's gonna have to be but yeah, I'm like well, popping out children's I have so many freaking children now that I need the space and uh, but the Mustang I hate I hate that car so much yeah. and I'm a driver of it and my and I, I hate that I have I have a Mustang I don't want to be because people are like oh the Mustang guy no no no, 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 no come on it's just for six so months he has a surprising number of children considering how fat and ugly he is <laughs> like so, it's, it's, it's very surprising right. like you would think you're like. Mm, he might be had sex once, right? In and some, then you see them, and you're like, so they're gonna have to be like, like, there's something wrong with them, right? Yeah, like yeah. there's got there's got to be mental children. deficiency or something. Nope. No, physical. Or they're anything. smart. They're hilarious. They're, they're adorable children. children. Yeah, I, yeah. Thank God they look like their mothers. <laughs> You hear that plural. Uh, <laughs> I know! I'm he tricked jerk. two girls <laughs> in <laughs> It's a fucking two miracle! Attractive, two attractive women, yep. I don't know, I've never both. seen the first one. The second one you did good on. The first oh, one. Yeah. I, I, oh, well, the crack first crack one out. is... Might be a crack. We're going to leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, let's, let's just go ahead and get right into some of these stories. I'm going to oh, yeah. start off with the hot button of the week. And oh, Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick. Oh, okay. here we go. I, and I know this table is going to be kind of split, but at the same time, we all respect each other. So I don't know how split it's going to be. Yeah, I don't. I don't either. I'm. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of it, personally, mm-hmm. because. So okay. So what? Okay, let's put this into context. What are we not? What are we? Just, we're just talking about the ad in general. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So you're not a fan of the ad. I'm not a fan of the ad because you-, y- you have literally somebody coming from a sport, and he really didn't sacrifice at all. He still has money and stuff like that. But you have, coming from a sport that has somebody like um, the Cardinal that gave his life over in Iraq. Like Tillman or something? Pat Tillman. Yeah, Pat Tillman. Um, Tillman yeah. yeah, he that, can't be that, that is, he's... to me, I don't like the situation, I don't like the wording of the situation. Can't be like, um, I, get, I get that he, like, he probably like does need do to be it. the poster child <laughs> because that I completely agree with people peacefully protesting. I didn't like the stage at which they did it on, but I agree that they are allowed to do it. And But I was not a fan of the wording of the ad. Uh, I really like the... Okay, so would you be better... It would be better for the ad if it was... Didn't like sacrifice some, everything. Well, some other... Like, say, some other player that doesn't have the... Well, the there's a... You know there's... Because there's a... Because uh, the 40, ad's amazing. There's a 49er who... And I forget his name. But he went over and did like two tours and stuff like, and came back and, and put, played for well, the 49ers. Right. So well, okay. I mean, so would we he sacrificed? I don't know. Like yeah, but would people care as much? Well, well, would they though? I'm, if because if, he's right he's polarizing, so he's one of well, those see, figures that. Well, see, here's like, the thing. I, the ad, I love the ad. I, I don't, don't care I that do. it's him because the words behind the ad, you're like that is it's inspirational. I, I, like, I've they, seen it's, ad. It's 
like, and I like the ad. Right. But here's the thing: is Ka- fuck Kaepernick, and I'll be bluntly honest. Kaepernick and I, and I know that I am a minority in this regards. Um, the whole kneeling for the national anthem thing, I, you know, whether it's right there's where he was signed on. Oh, for okay. the spokesperson. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> well, but, you know, uh, um, the, the whole dealing for the flag, like dealing during the national anthem thing, uh, yes, I didn't like it. I felt it was very disrespectful towards people, and yes, it is his right. But again, he's not free of repercussions just like anybody else. Uh, whatever we get beyond that because that it is a right. No, the most important thing to me is, is that he's pushing an agenda that is a blatant fucking lie. Like, then no matter what way you want to chalk it up, and I actually had this discussion with somebody else, but he was one of those people who really pushed towards getting, like, body cams, and all these cops are dirty, they're dirty all the damn time, and blah, 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 blah. Not all cops are dirty, and that is the agenda that you're pushing. Totally agree. Stop pushing that fucking agenda. Take it as a case-by-case basis, like it's supposed to be. Yeah, don't generalize. Don't generalize, right. because you can't generalize anything right. in this world. Nope. Once you start praying with that broad brushstroke, you lose all credibility in your fucking argument. And he keeps going back to that over and over and over again. Police brutality, police brutality. And the cases that he brings up are complete and utter shit 90% of the time. He doesn't bring up the ones that really are police brutality, like your Philandro Castiles and the guy from uh, uh, South Carolina we right. talked about the other day, yeah, yeah. you know, and shit like that. He doesn't bring those up. Right. He brings up, you know, the, uh, the Mike the Brown and the, the sensationalized ones because right. those are the ones that are popular. The other thing is, is that his political views are so fucking skewed that he, he really does look up to Che Guevara, who is a, was a radical down in Venezuela who butchered thousands upon tens of thousands of people. He really did look up to Fidel Castro because he's a socialist who butchered tens of thousands of people. Yeah, I actually have friends who, one of my very good friends' family fled from yes. Venezuela. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Here they were going to die if they You are there. sensationalizing these fucking tyrants, and you're like, oh, well, I, I'm the man of the year because GQ says I am. No, joke. kiss my <laughs> fucking ass. On top of which, was he fired from the 49ers? Quick question. Was he fired? No. 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 He, no, he wasn't let go. He opted out. No. He, said he opted out on his contract. He opted out of his own contract. So the reason why he doesn't have a job right now is because he went, I don't want to do this anymore. I want another team. Yeah, I don't like money. And there you go. Um, but to that effect, do you think it's... Uh, okay. My only thing that's saying that it's a, it's a very good business idea. For... Nike. By far. By far. Right. The yeah. smartest thing to do. Right. Yeah, I mean, right. because that's 65% why made... of their, their business is done globally. It's not done here. Well, that's what I'm saying. He's a polarizing him. fixture. Exactly, and that's why mm-hmm. having him in it. That's the now, thing. Now, why do they do it now? They do it now because we're talking about no, it. No, because his contract was running out. He only had a month left on his contract. So the, he opted out, still had a contract with Nike to include a shoe deal right. that not, Nike never produced. They never produced any shoes by him. But he had a shoe deal, mm-hmm. He had and he had a one month left on his contract. Right. So Nike went ahead and went, um... Hey, Kaepernick, you want to go ahead and re-up again, and we'll go ahead and make you the face of our just do our 30th anniversary Just Do It campaign. And he went, of course. Right. Why? Because he loves money. Everybody does. And they do, too. That's of why course. they picked and him, too. I'm not going to fault the guy for that. And, that's that. a, and then Nike, too. That's another reason, reason why they did it, because we're going to talk about it. Of if course. You're make sales. We're doing it now. Right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So exactly. What, about, what about you? How do you... What do you call um, this? I'm totally... Uh, I'm not against it at all, because I'm I'm a business. I'm all business, so... Right. Mm-hmm. I try to put the social stuff out the window because you know what? Realistically, it's tiresome. I've already heard every argument till the. So every time I read it, I just scroll past it on feed. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. you know? I think that's like us, but right. we got a comment. About right? It. No, right. totally fine. Right. Um, but the thing I am appreciative of is the memes that come out of it. Oh, they yeah. are they are priceless. Oh, yeah. The Al Bundy oh, yes. memes. Thank you. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm Kaepernick. still it's sending right. an Al Bundy memes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love oh. it. Yeah, he yeah, just the, continues. The Mike leave. Tyson one is just. Oh fantastic. my god! Yeah. It's yeah. for everything. It's <laughs> for nothing. Yeah, yeah. And then we did one for our pages. I am Groot, and then it says I am Groot. Did a. There's a Bill Cosby one on there. Oh, like, yeah. oh, oh yeah. There's one I saved today. I, I have to look it up at some point. But yeah, it's it makes business sense. It totally does. It, and he's so okay with it. It's like you have to do that. On the social side, I mean, it's kind of gray for me. It's kind of like up in the air. I can understand the police brutality situation. I understand what they're doing. Right. But at the same time, I think they're kind of like you said, using the wrong platform to do yeah, so. Yeah. You know, and um, and I think also is people are tending to forget the what it's really about. Yeah. So people are tending to forget what it's really about. Absolutely. Um, my my issue with the the NFL being the face of this, 
was you have such a glaring issue of a PR issue already mm, with yeah. your players. I mean, domestic violence inside murder, of, in yeah. murder. But that is, child that's molestation, a, yeah. rape. Murder. I mean, murder. Like you have all these things. But what I'm trying to say is that's on, there's only two cases. I mean, on a what, in, the, a murder? In, in the NFL right this moment. That's that's because um, Ray Lewis retired. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but domestic violence. There's always a story coming out from a professional athlete just beating the crap out of his girlfriend or beating the crap out of his wife. Or beating the crap out of a random person. Um, oh, that too. <laughs> These guys just beating people up. This isn't this isn't the golden age, and even in the golden age, because we talk about Babe Ruth, he was an awful person. I mean, just drank, smoked, and beat loser. everybody. Yeah, he was a lecherous yeah. bastard. Yeah, he was yeah. a lecherous bastard. But, but um, he's a legend. So. Yeah, yeah. The babe. So, but <laughs> like, I don't think athletes, in all honesty, unless you are, unless you are just squeaky clean like Tim Tebow, and I know I say this because I'm from Florida, but like that's the only athlete that I see. You gotta you gotta be squeaky clean like that to be a role model. And what's funny is, is I and like and I appreciate Tim Tebow. I have always thought there's something in his background that's gonna be oh like Oh my yeah, gosh, they, by far. Yeah, I agree 100%. Like, oh, there's yeah. gotta be I'm like waiting. he goes well, to dude. Africa to molest children or something. Well, dude, like, it's he like, goes on mission yeah, trip how, to yeah, fuck but, little boys. But, yeah, like that's the but only how thing. How crazy could it would that be though? Because like because you mentioned it, what was that fucking family that had the 18 kids and counting bullshit, and then they and find the, out that one, yeah, one of yeah, the yeah. brothers was Dude, they were like the yeah. biggest family in the world. And then one of the brothers was fucking all the girls. All yeah. the girls. Yeah. And then the other brother was on that uh, that Ashley Madison site, the, the cheating yeah. website. Yeah. They found yeah. out he's doing it. And then you hear all <laughs> well, that yeah, stuff, and you're like, deal. Well, yeah, but you, you know, but I mean, when you're, you're supposed to be like all about your family, and all the whole world's like, you're cheating on your wife. Tim Tebow is so squeaky clean. He has to do something fucking like Horrible. He, yeah, yeah, he probably like, wakes up he, every morning and shoots a kitten or something. Like he <laughs> bathes in the blood of virgins. Like <laughs> he'd still he, have an okay fan base down here. Yeah, yeah, because there are some just dog people. So yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's yeah. true. But so, um, oh my god, yeah, the Kaepernick thing. I think it's a. Uh, I think it's a brilliant idea. I think. It, it definitely was a brilliant. It's so idea. so smart. Yeah, it's, it's uh, having the guy. You know that my thing is the the. My difference with the thing at the national anthem and the kneeling thing, I'm totally okay with it. It does not bother me whatsoever. No, no, no. And I don't. I think you're right. You are free. You know, but repercussions. It's like, what can you really do other than make him not? You know, other than say you can't play. You know what you can yeah. do? Is well, you can find the shit out of him. Right. Well, you could. You can. In all honesty, you can fire these guys for yeah. whatever they want. Because they are not employees, right? They are oh, right. contracted, right. but they work for a business. Right? They work for a well, business. Well, right. that's the thing is. So the NFL actually did, and Josh knows this, and the NFL did outline a rule. Yeah, and was like, this is going to be the rule from here on out. And then the the not the players' association, but the owners' association stepped in and were like. Uh, you can't really tell us how we're going to run our team, so you need to back Unless up you're Jerry Jones. And, and then Jerry Jones, yes. right. Jerry Jones Jerry Jones is like, yeah, you, you, guess what? If you kneel, you're not going to play. And then I'm going to take your money from you, and I'm going to go get somebody who will stand. Yeah. yeah. Because I, I don't, again, <clears throat> kneel if you want to because they're not hurting anybody. I don't like that the media made such a big freaking deal about it. And was it was it was literally ahead of Kim Jong-un in the news circuit. Yeah. And that's but not. It's a that's lie. not. Yeah, what they're dealing for agree. is a lie. I I agree with that. There's no like grand conspiracy. It's I, not. I I agree with that, but I also agree with. <laughs> if I agree with that, I have to agree with people's right to peacefully protest, and be it an unfounded way. I I have to agree with it well, because I agree well, with. Let me ask you this: freedom of speech. So freedom. like the, the Dallas, so the Dallas shooter who killed five law enforcement officers. Right. The the the, the New York shooter who killed two detectives sitting in their car. These ambush style killings. Every single those two instances specifically, but there's more. Those individuals were part of the Black Lives Matter movement that partially is pushed by this kneeling. That's why I say, fuck it. Because, honestly enough, it's pushing a rhetoric that is a lie and that is acting violently towards a group of individuals that I, of course, I was a cop. Well, do so I do care for. So, with that, with that rationale in mind, mm -hmm. that's why when I see players kneeling and things like that, I, like, yes, it is your right. You oh. have that, that do I have? Do I have a... Do I automatically not like the person that's doing it? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not a fan of that person anymore. But 
They can all rot in fucking hell. At that Every last single little, at that foundation, I have to agree with them being able to protest. No, I hope they all die in fiery car accidents. Every single fucking one of them. <laughs> I hope they. Uh, That's I a way to look at it. All get AIDS <laughs> from fucking each other and then die from that in a very heinous way. Well, I don't think they have AIDS because they're playing professional sports. Well, they might have AIDS with. They, if you don't, if, if they're kicking they you out of NFL, really well. if they were kicking you out of NFL because you had AIDS, then like the eighties wouldn't have had anybody they, in it. They're on that they're Magic been, Johnson status. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're on that Magic yeah, Johnson. And, and then they're also like protecting their investment. Like, oh, this I guy's mean, about uh, to make me a billion like, dollars. Oh, get the AIDS! All the AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> you got all the AIDS we have stuff. the cure for it, obviously. Yeah, I, I personally, um, you know, I have family members that are part of the military that, that dislike it and things like that. I, I and mean, I have taken what they say into account in that respect, but more so than anything else, again, it pushes a rhetoric that puts um, some of my family and, and friends at risk, and therefore, yeah, you can all rot in hell and die, every single one of you. Nice, but uh. Hey, it's for you. It's for your benefit. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... <laughs> yes. Yeah, 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 just got flicked. Yeah, a cop flicked him off. Yeah, yeah a cop just flicked me his, off. After, 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 after my impassioned after speech. After the <laughs> speech defending <laughs> them, a cop walked in, 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 like, in, in and flicked me off. And this is real. This I mean, just, just, just happened. He's like, yeah, defend this motherfucker. He <laughs> has his right to do that. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to take a knee. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Fine, I'm going to knee. I'm going to take a knee. I'm going to take a knee now. <laughs> Fuck it. So I wanted to... Uh, um, oh, the seat, the seat is going down. Oh, the seat went down. I've been trying to get mine to go down. It's forcing you to yeah, take a knee. It's yeah. fun. As soon as I said oh, take a knee, it, it went all the way down. God <laughs> wants you to take a knee. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants me to pray more. That's probably well, that's Take two knees, right? Yeah. Take, two, <laughs> take two knees. Oh, two knees, knees for Jesus. So are we Catholic now? Is that where we're going <laughs> to go? Two knees for Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I actually, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to talk about that story in just a minute. Diggy, diggy, diggy. Oh, I love it. So, uh, moving on real quick, because that was a great segment. Um, but, um, so the Catholic probe, as we've been calling it, oh, has ex- it's Oh, yeah, it's extended out to oh, that's right. Virginia, um, I want to say Alabama. The Attorney General is making all archdioceses in the United States yeah. open up now. Every single archdiocese in the United States yep. has to open up and turn over. And they're they're all going oh through my that God. process. Uh, Florida, I think, recently just opened up. Oh. Um, and I think Virginia as well. But it's oh, it's bad. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm a Catholic, and it's bad. <laughs> um, this is uh, so they found in Pennsylvania. I think it was a thousand priests. And no, 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 100 priests, yeah, that's like a thousand like a lot of priests. Like, whoa, that was like a thousand whoa. cases over the last so 40 every years. Every single priest touched a kid in Pennsylvania in the last 40 years. It was like 100 priests and a thousand kids in the last 40 mm. years. Yeah, there was something I read where there was 1,300 separate oh, incidents right, right, right. of sexual misconduct between a priest and a child. And I don't know what state it was in. Well, that just means there's going to be another episode of Law and Order. Very soon. <laughs> yeah, that's just yeah, how it is. Yeah. Special victims. Dun, dun. Unit. <laughs> holy victims. Unit. The holy, holy victims, victims unit. unit. Like they're going to have. Like, yeah, they're going to create a whole new Law and Order <laughs> oh, just God. for that. Thanks for the thousand <laughs> victims that just hap- came out. Just for that, they're going to be like this: is the Archdiocese of Law and Order. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> Sometimes there are victims that cannot be helped by the normal side of the law. <laughs> Sometimes there are priests you have to hunt down. Would Mel Gibson be your uh, main actor then? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'd watch the shit out of that shit. I bet you would. I bet you would. <laughs> We're all Catholic here. We're all Catholic. I don't understand why everybody hates the American Catholics. But, so, um, this probe is opened up. It's funny, it's like, called a probe all, too. All over the world right now. Like, it's. <laughs> It's bad. Yeah. And they're showing a lot of stuff from Francis and previous popes pre- that they were just shuffling these guys around. You'd go down to South America pope? for a little bit or <laughs> wherever that they didn't report these things. And then after three or four years when everybody's forgotten about it, you just get transferred back into another diocese in somewhere in the United States or in England somewhere or something like that. They had this whole thing down to a science. And it was... This is scary that this is coming out like this. Who is our current pope? Um, is it Pope Francis? No, it's a uh, Pope uh, Benedict. 
know who said that. No. No, that was, was one before, that was the one so before. So Francis, yes. So, okay, so Benedict is the one who lived and gave the Pope to him. And then Francis is the one who took over. I actually like Francis. Like, because Fran Francis really is doing things. Yeah. Like, Francis is the one who's like, hey, you know what? A little more uh, proactive. Yeah, he's like, you need to go ahead and, you know, follow mine with and help the law enforcement out with this. Yeah. And honestly enough, you could see a lot of the Catholic Church as a whole is trying to push in a new direction. Yeah. Now, the problem is they're meeting a lot of resistance. Like, yeah, the old, definitely. you still, you sh with the with the advances in science, unfortunately, <laughs> Catholic Church, people are living longer. So, these old, these older guys are, uh, these older couples in their 80s and stuff are trying to keep their, uh, their old views. I got an old guy that's sitting there wanting church to still be put in Latin uh, beside me in church. So, there's that. You but, Catholics take things so seriously. Every time I go to, I mean, I, my mother was growing up, you know, raised Catholic. Yeah. But every time I go to Catholic church, man, it's a workout. It oh, is. Yeah. Get a, sit it down. Is. Get, get up. up sit sit down, down. Get up. My quads are on Do the fire. But, uh, yeah. Get on your knees. Don't get on your knees. Halfway get on your through. knees. Don't get on your knees. Walk up here. Walk get up there. Yeah, get a drink. Well, no, Let's do a shot. No, 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 no. That wafer does not count as a snack, and that little shot <laughs> does not count as a drink. That is a tease. All right, specifically because you're waking me up early to come to church. I probably haven't had breakfast yet. They've got a leg at eleven o'clock services now. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. then you don't get over till four o'clock in the afternoon because you true. damn Catholics, like Catholic no, no, guilt, no, 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 y'all beat each other up so much over everything. That's true. Like, ah, uh, let's self-flagellate all over the place. Yeah, but there's there's the good Catholics that leave a little early and we get home before the first football game. <laughs> but so. I thought those were Baptists. Yeah, but we oh, sneak no. out. We sneak out after. Stay late. Yeah, oh, we sneak yeah. out after. The I wasn't. I wasn't raised Baptist. I think <laughs> I was raised. No, I wasn't really raised anything. I think most of my family was like Pentecost or something like that. My father was. Yeah, yeah. which is kind of like strange, almost cult like. Yeah. Like there's, there, it's All very day. weird. All day. Yeah, it's yeah. very weird. Pentecost is a very weird. Well, I have a. Oh wait a minute, dude. I might have some Pentecost. Uh, look, I'm, pl I'm playing. Pentecost is a great religion. <laughs> I probably don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, people. Please don't sneak into my house and kill me. Yeah. Yeah. You guys say April Fools. Yeah, April Fools. April Fools and no homo and all that kind of no stuff. No homo, exactly. <laughs> yeah. so that wipes out all. Yeah, just activity. wipe out all that. Uh, wipe, yeah, because I might not know what I'm talking. No, about. I had a guy when I was playing football in high school that was a Seventh Day Advent. Adventist or whatever mm -hmm. that's that's some loopy shit I don't know that, if I've ever met one uh, what do they I mean, believe in oh it's just out like it's it's some shit. I like like Mormons they you crack think, me up you think Catholics are strict Seventh Day Adventists put us to shame I got I got a buddy of mine who's like a, a actually was it has been a friend of mine for a long time he's one of my sergeants back when I was a cop and he's a Mormon and he like it was great because he was always happy all the time, and you could make Mormon jokes to him, and he didn't get offended by him. He was but, happy because he was sleeping with four wives. No, he wouldn't. You know, his wife. <laughs> he, this is this is how this is this is how how strong of a wife he had. He had to hyphenate his name and put her name first. Oh no! Oh yeah! Oh. She wasn't fucking around. Oh, no, no, no. She was no. not fucking around. She's like, you're mine, and this is what you're gonna do. Or maybe it was her her name second. I don't remember. Um. Yeah, one second, guys. Austin, quit whistling. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, so yeah, that. But this, getting back to it, this this probe is just all over the place. Mm -hmm. And the Pope, I can tell the Pope is happy as can be about it because people are coming back to the church in droves now. Yeah, because the Pope um, is pushing for it. Yeah, and and he's he's, he's also the Pope who is like. Hey, gays, y'all can come hang out with us again. He's yeah. very, I say, he's very... Yeah, he's very progressive, this Pope. Yeah. Like, he's going to... He literally sneaks out of the Vatican to go to homeless shelters to feed people soup. Mm -hmm. And, like, without a protective detail. Yeah. Like, sneaks out. And, like, you're the, one of the most hated individuals on the planet. And you're like, I'm going to sneak it... out and I'm going to go feed homeless people for funsies. Yeah. Like, you got to love him. Yeah. You really awesome. do. Um, yeah, but, um, so I wanted to talk about that, to talk about the new story that's kind of come out, that we were talking about it last time, the, the Scientology. No, thing. I still oh, say we should go do this. So, so it came under, out, undercover it came expose. We should on, Sign me up. on the Scientology thing down on the square. The square, I mean, oh. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I'm thinking we may need to go to another town because they're crazy. Oh no, I'll do it right here because it's Ocala. Ocala nuts is something you can deal with. Yeah, that's true. 
Oh, but, the Scientology one? Yeah, we went yeah. to Clay County or something like that. We're all so fucked. to show yeah, that, that area. to show that pedophilia <laughs> does not cross religious bounds. Um, Leia Rami, I watched the second half of the thing. It's like rampant in that community. Like if you belong, so to you science, watched a documentary. I was yes, talking about. I it's did watch fucking that one too. bonkers. It is. It's fucking crazy. What, 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 the Scientology one with the girl, for the woman from King of Queens. So the science. So wait, hold on a second. So Scientology is diddling kids too. Oh yeah, it's like it, sexual misconduct in that community is like, oh, just tell us and we'll be okay with it. When in actuality, you you tell them your sins and they write them down. So if you ever try to back talk the oh yeah, that's the you're talking about. They hand them into the mm-hmm. thing and unless blackmail. you give us one hundred fifty thousand. And they have their I don't know, I forgot to their headquarters is in Clearwater, I believe. Yeah. Really, it's right down the road. Yeah, they're 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 I'm southern. We do an expose they have their headquarters this. down there because when they talk about she goes down this. there and then when they're like she goes with their friend and as they're going around, there's people you can see as they're filming. They're watching them. Okay, just... so what what kind of lies should we tell them that I that I do? Um, like exercise, eat right. Tell them you just want to meet their space overlord. I want to meet their space overlord. I want to meet their space overlord. Isn't there this thing where they like they you grab it and they it's, suck the soul of the alien out of you? Well, they have this thing. And it it's makes like you feel, feel better. The you're supposed yeah. you're it's like it's like your midichlorian count. And um, I can I be a Jedi. You, I don't know what, what they call fuck? it. <laughs> I'd love it if this was actually like Jedi has finally come to Earth, and then we're all that, making fun what, of it. What if we're Scientology is yes, right? Yeah. If they're right, <laughs> all y'all are fucked. They I'm have, running there. They have the force. I'll be like, I'm calling John Travolta well, right now. I'm like, hey, John, right. yeah, I want to be a 15th level Jedi mind fucker. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, but let's the, do but this. The Sith, so it's like they want. Uh, mm-hmm. you remember the Sith are actually good. Okay, remember we had yeah, this that's discussion. That's Scientology, right? We, we had this discussion for a long time. All right. Yeah. Rebellion, yeah, huh? the rebellion. That's a bad, all those, all those had poor bad connotations. You kill um, all rebellion, those planets. AKA you had to re- rebel ISIS. against them. Oh my god, <laughs> the rebellion was mm-hmm. ISIS. All mm-hmm. right, we cannot get back on this track it's again. True. We've already done. So, like how do you feel about that? Are the rebels terrorists? I'm gonna be straight up with you. I'm not a big Star Wars buff. I don't know much about it. All right, so that concludes. The <laughs> and, uh, I know. Wow. I hear a beeping. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> All of a sudden, yeah. what happens if I pull there, this wire? Yeah, there goes the plug for there, that. There goes the, your, your yeah. viewers. So 17 to 27 minutes. Huh? <laughs> yeah. No, definitely. I I watch the movies. I'll go watch them all day. But it's just like when I got my coworkers are big Star Wars stuff. I'll bring yeah. them one day, and you'll be like, oh, you can have all day with them. Yeah. But I'm just lost. As you can see from this man's yeah. sleeve, he's and got then, lightsabers. And phone that you heard earlier. Yeah. yeah. My and neighbor's have- a big... Star Wars buff. I go in there. He's got a whole man cave full of everything. His golf cart. has got all the, basically. So do you Star also Wars think though? pineapple goes on pizza? Oh, no. oh, he's thinking about it. Oh my god! If you say no, yes, I got no problem with Hawaiian pizza. What in the I no fuck? But it's you know not else? my favorite. You are not pizza. allowed to pick guests ever again, <laughs> yeah. Josh. When I was what going, the fuck is wrong with well, you? I don't have to be on you your show. Bring this heathen in here. <laughs> yeah, I'm a pizza connoisseur now. Yeah. I love Unsubscribe. Pizza. Done. God. What's the name of that channel so I don't yeah. have to watch it? <laughs> Logan Paul vlog. Yeah. Yeah. That's my name. That's my name. Yeah, because I don't want to watch that ever. Avoid it. I'm so conflicted because he wants to help like the cardiac ward of a hospital, but he also fucking thinks pineapple goes on pizza. Oh, I don't know. God. If you fucking give them, do you like? Wait, pizza hold on. You like running scrambled eggs? No. Okay, thank God. All right, yeah. he's got some redeemable qualities. Yeah, no. Okay, breakfast: bacon or sausage? Bacon. Okay. Okay. He's got some. Redeemable oh, another qualities. thing this guy likes to put on his YouTube channel is he cooks. Steaks in front of you on YouTube. All day, dude. Fucking I love steaks. That's, that's not good. fair that's, because that's I'm sitting there going, I love yeah. it. Josh well, I, I have to wait till tomorrow to, for my date night. I'm to get probably steak. gonna be that's going all I'm home, thinking yeah. about. Yeah. After this, we're I'll doing be. date night tomorrow. Sundays we do date night, yeah. and she's like, "I'm gonna cook the shit out of steaks," and I'm like, "You will." <laughs> she can't. Talk to me oh dirty. my god! <laughs> talk, to me, <laughs> talk to me while you're cooking, yeah. baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, <laughs> slice of that garlic real thin. Mm. <laughs> one of my favorite lines in the movie. It's funny is that year one. It's the most terrible movie in the world. Right. Oh, yeah. But by far my favorite line is "Base me like a chicken, little boy." It's by far. So every time my wife. Oh my god! You know what I'm talking oh about? That, that's that Face line. me like a chicken. It's the little, little boy. boy. Yeah. Come here. No, he says little golden boy. I mean, oh my god! Oh yeah, because he was, was all in he gold. Was the, the Catholic priest, right? That's so. amazing. 
So, uh, I don't ruin that line at all. Well, that is great. Well, I'm it. surprised that you have a favorite line from that movie because I've seen it once and I'm like, I don't remember. I anything. think I've watched. I that, almost like, watched it the other day. It's one of those things. It's one of those guilty pleasures. Guilty me and my wife joke around and mm. pick on about. Oh yeah, you gotta so, find you find that horrible movie and you yeah. just sit there and watch it. Just pick it all. Nacho apart. Libre is another one. Oh it's just, God, like, I love Nacho Libre. I love that movie. You know it's what I mean? So it's good. terrible, but it's awesome. Well, it's a good. You know the kid in that is the kid in the Goldbergs. The show, The Goldbergs. I've never watched The kid the who plays Jack Black is the kid in... The younger Jack Black is the one that's in The Goldbergs. Oh, I've never watched that. I don't know what The Goldbergs are. I really want to watch really it. I haven't got to see it yet. I thought it, was, I thought it had something to do with Rathsling, so I didn't it's watch got it. The, it's got the, the, <laughs> the blonde slutty chick from uh, Reno 911. She's yeah. the, the mom. Bi- the big-titted one? Yeah, yeah. she's the okay. mom. But they're like, it's like in the 80s. It yeah. looks really good. Anything in the 80s I'm going to watch. It looks really good. Like, I'm like seeing the family, and I'm like, oh, God, that kind of reminds me of mine. Yeah. <laughs> Just touching home. Yeah. <laughs> but, so, because we didn't have Mike for ShootCast, I wanted to talk to him about All In. Did yeah, you get yeah. to watch All In? I did not get to watch all of it. Yeah. And, um, but Ooh. I just really watched important. It was make, a wrestling. It, it was. Yeah. It was like a the wrestling indie, pay-per-view it, that was put on the, it was the by the independent show. wrestlers. Yeah, the biggest indie much. show ever. Did you think it was kind of gutsy to make it on the day they did? Like right in the middle of football, oh, right, yeah, football yeah, but, week and everything. Oh, yeah. They still did good, don't get me wrong. But their their downloads and whatever yeah. is ridiculous. So, yeah, yeah, it was an amazing time I to thought do it was very gutsy. It was like a huge success? Oh, yeah. T- they sold out. An independent show sold out 10,000 tickets. In less than 30 In less minutes. less than 30 minutes. Right. Okay, when you say independent, what do you mean? Like, not WWE, not a... It's like... Yeah, like they, like what I used to do was independent wrestling. Oh, so imagine guys, but they now so no just like fat backing. guys rolling around on the ground. <laughs> right, yeah, there's yeah. a whole bunch of fat dudes. <laughs> just, just but no fat guys, rolling. as far as I you can see, see, independent wrestling has changed so much in the last ten years that it's like almost pro wrestling. You it just is as much. The, the way it is now compared to when Paul and I did it. I'm looking at these guys and I'm like, Jesus Christ! Yeah. Like I could never. Paul compete. did it too. By the yeah, way, he's, that little little eight survivor. He was he was bigger. He was like two fifty for. Remember, he got diabetes. He got the diabetes. Uh, See, I still, I, like, here's the thing. <laughs> the is I don't think the diabetes diet did it. I think Paul has AIDS. <laughs> well, it looks like it. Yeah, I mean, I really uh, think no, Paul he has it. Him and Dale. It was like they... And they Dale their, probably has AIDS, well, too. Well, Paul... See, Paul's lost that weight because he got ketoacidosis, Paul, like, twice in the first Paul year. Paul looks like so he, he smells like lived. cat pee. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't own a cat. He's got the ugliest... He still He owns like the cat. ugliest bulldog to ever exist. Bullshit. All bulldogs are adorable. You can tell yourself that, but this thing should have died. Like, it, it probably is it is a dead. British bulldog or an American bulldog? It's American. Oh, it? oh, never mind. It's They're so ugly. Like, uh, yeah, but it's got like all these problems, like with its eyes. So it's like tear ducts will swell up. So it's like these like bulbous red oh, things. Well, British are the same way. They, it's, they don't even breed by themselves. Yeah, no. yeah they can't. They, they can't, can't give they birth. Have, you, you have to shake right. yeah. 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 them off to do, so you can get the. Yeah, it's they can't even Not, mount. Yeah, dude. Why keep that? God, alive? that would suck. Yeah, my yeah. my buddy the breeder. I'm like, you told me he's a big dude. <laughs> he's a big dude, and he's huge. And I'm just like, bro, I lost respect for you. Yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's down underneath that little dog. Just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Red, Rocket. Red, Red Rocket, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. He, get it. he <laughs> understands that he can breed other dogs, right? Or he's yeah. just like, well, that, I can get the jacket. In. They're about like four grand, though. I remember that. So Ooh. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, yeah, but you can get. Uh, like, I see. Here's yeah, but you can get like Great Danes and stuff like that. You're not jacking them off, and you can still sell them for like two grand. They just had a story because Uga. Uh, University of Georgia Bulldog. Okay. About Isn't that like hundred thousand dollars for a stud fee? Huh? Like a hundred grand for a stud yeah, fee. Yeah, it's a hundred grand for their line stud fee for Ugga. Mm. And they're like on Ugga uh, eight. I don't want that. So that's like oh, it's okay. ridiculous. Yeah, but it's like college football money, so that's like a row of seats. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's nothing to them. It's college like, football money. <laughs> it's like hundred thousand yeah, dollars. Like, <laughs> well, you, remember we don't got to pay the players. <laughs> <laughs> We yeah. give them pittance. This is a hundred percent profit. We can fit a hundred thousand people into these stadiums. But so what I wanted to bring up about All In was Cody Rhodes being the American nightmare when his father was the American dream. Right, he's right. the American right. nightmare. Dude's brilliant. Yeah, and he comes out with DDP, Glacier, um, Tommy Dreamer, Tommy Dreamer, the WCW the old Dolly like. Craft. Mortal Kombat yeah. looking ninja dude. Yeah. The coolest guy I thought no as a kid. No shit. I thought I he was the most Glacier, amazing wrestler yeah. in the world. He had like six months of build too before yeah. he actually came out. But yep. he like he did the bleach blonde hair like his dad. Oh, and he's had that for a while. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. but I mean, he looked 
He looked like a skinny form of his dad. It was dad. for the NWA World Heavyweight title. Didn't Cody Rhodes, didn't he have a character before? Stardust. Yeah, Stardust. Stardust. Yeah, he was he like Goldust. Which he yeah. knocked out the park, by the way, as well. That, yeah. that by, sinister by outfit was yeah, amazing. it was great. He is the only person that could have pulled that off. Yeah. Maybe his brother, because his brother can sell a role like nobody's business. Yep. Uh, you went from being the cowboy to the sex addict movie star. Which was great. Which I love the 90s when he thought oh around God, with all the, the Shattered Dream productions. Yeah, oh, great. You do mm-hmm. movie quotes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, um, so that was, uh, what I wanted to bring up is that that show, uh, they're getting like the downloads for it, and it, it hit over a million downloads. Wow. wow. Oh, yeah. And that's You just, know, but it's, a, you say it's an indie promotion, but it's really, because yeah. they, yeah. It's, they're all famous from New Japan. And, uh, and ROH. Some, yeah, yeah, they're all from. I mean, even Chris Jericho was there. Yeah. So it's like you Which know is he amazing. had. He has he has some naked photos of Vince McMahon somewhere. Yeah. Because he gets to do whatever he wants. Yeah. yeah he's still in. He was still in contract with WWE, but they're like, oh, you want to go to New Japan and win a title for them? Okay. Oh, you want to go to Impact? Go ahead, yeah. Sure. Why not? Bring the New Japan title with you to Impact. Okay. Yeah. Which is how wrestling should be. Like you it know, is. cool would have been if CM Punk years ago would have won the WWE title and then left with it. Can you imagine him going to? Before the Another before, we'll imagine like before the, the indie renaissance really happened like it is now, going to a show that has 500 people in the crowd and defending the WWE World Title like that. How like why wouldn't you want that? I was borderline. My, my buddy the used to wrestle as well, and um, he brought up this great point, and I thought it was pretty great. But at that time, right before All In, Kevin Owens quit, quote mm-hmm. unquote. Right, kayfabe. Right, so he quit WWE. He th- said he like, what if they're trying to build that off, and he's gonna show up at All In. I like that'd be that'd great. Be that would be a great idea. But he goes, I don't think it will let it happen. Obviously, but yeah. he goes, it'd be great because realistically, he does wrestle with all those guys. He doesn't know them all personally. I think right. I think it would have been awesome if he had shown up as like Kevin Steen. Yeah, he, exactly. He, from his Canadian profile, right. and just that would have been amazing. Yes, and just let him do the you know hardcore match that he was famous for and. Drop people power bombs on the apron and all this kind of stuff, and then the next night he's back to being Kevin Owens on Raw. Right, that would have been awesome. But um, so it could have been like ECW, how they yeah. were in bed with them back in the day. Yeah. So we're talking about how like it's the <clears throat> you can get like it's like an amalgam of all these different feds. So there was five different feds represented. There was ROH, CMLL, which is another Luchador one, mm-hmm. AAA, which is like the biggest one. Uh, New Japan and NWA were all had wrestlers that were wrestling in this show. They're which top is, guys, yeah. Right, which is just fucking amazing that you and it, you're right. It's not like you're underneath guys, your your openers or your mid carters. Right. You had fucking Okada and Kenny Omega there. You yeah, know? I think it was like the third match from the end, wasn't it? Yeah. Or, yeah. So yep. like that's usually a main event yeah. match, and it's. Third, third, and the third yeah, the and then you had like with the uh, my my favorite indie guy is Christopher Daniels. I've followed Christopher Daniels for fucking twenty years, and uh, the he whole the Stephen Amell thing was just amazing that you can get him in yeah. there, and then he can he respects it enough to where he can have like a semi legitimate match. Sure. Did you see Dave Meltzer's actual reviews on those matches? No, he really didn't give any good ratings to yeah, anybody he, on. The, I was really surprised. Which is really weird because he's, he's like, like he a, had, he's like a mark for that. He's I mean, a hard on for Okada, like uh, Okada and um, and the Bucks, Kenny Omega, yeah, yeah. yeah. anything well, the Bucks do. I yeah. mean, they have the Meltzer drivers, one of their yeah. moves. Yeah, the I was telling him I don't I, I I don't like Meltzer, but I have to respect him because he's agreed. Um, he's got such a hard on for some of these new guys that I don't. It's mostly New Japan. I yeah, mean, I don't, I don't pay attention to a lot match. of them. Right. Um, but we were talking about this on Shootcast. Is this the future of wrestling? Is this what we're going to start seeing? Are we going to see some more cross-promotional stuff aiming at WWE? Or does WWE jump on the train and start sending their guys to the show? If Triple H continues to run it, I think it will. They have to. Yeah. Because he, we talked to, We talk about the Mad, like with Madison Square Garden. Like, they sold out Madison Square Garden. Like, right. they're coming. They're, yeah. You sold out, like, the wrestling mecca is Madison Square Garden. Who did? Uh, the uh, ROH uh, New Japan okay. Show. Okay. Because they're doing that. Uh, yes. The, the Super Show or whatever. Yeah, well, I can't yeah. remember what the name of the show is. But the show where they're coming in next year around WrestleMania yeah. season. They sold that out. So and they're going to be in the area around the exact same time. And I can only watch so many Undertaker return matches before it's not a return match right. anymore. Oh my gosh, before it's a legit casket match and right. he's really dead. Yeah. Right. I can't, I, you're killing your 
one legend that was still legitimate because Triple H went and did the corporate thing, which is cool. Great. Hulk Hogan said the N-word one too many times, so he's gone. <laughs> but uh, he's actually back he's actually now. I know. Back. He just, yeah. he just brought him back. Yeah. Um, so one quick note. This is the first non-WWE WCW wrestling show in the United States to sell 10,000 tickets in 25 years. Really? So no other wrestling promotion other than WCW, WWE, slash F, has sold 10,000 or more tickets to a show. Not even during that golden age era in the 80s? No other company? Not, well, 93 is the last time. Okay. So for 25 years. 25 years. Yeah. Right, I got you. Got so you. La- 1993 yeah. was the last time a non-WWF right, right. and WCW show has sold that many tickets. How many people were involved in that uh, organizing of it? With whose idea was this anyway? This was, was the it? Cody and the Young Bucks. The, like, they the pretty much guys. bankrolled the whole thing. Pretty much. They yeah. had other sponsors and stuff, and people came in, and then you obviously have the power of ROH and New Japan, and then you're Cody Rhodes, so you, I mean, you know people. And right. then they, the Bucks and them, they fronted most of it. They sold, their attendance was 11,263 people. Wow. Jesus Christ. It's impressive. Yeah, they were yeah. sponsored by Cracker Barrel, which was a big thing for them because the Cracker Barrel thing. Apparently, they had like some cracker in the hardcore match. They had like a crack guy jumped off a Cracker Barrel, and they they played that in Cracker Barrel, Hot Topic, Pro Wrestling Tees, and TGI Fridays were their sponsors. Besides them putting it's, it in, that's um, I mean, they're that's cu- how they're wrestling rest- should be. <clears throat> is yeah, you're gonna have to do some product placement. That's fine. But I love the feder- the federation slash territory feel of this match. Yeah. Because you got to see, you know, Kenny Omega in a same match with, um, you know, this. And then the next match was a TNA wrestler. Right. Or you going the, to TNA. Yeah, you had, you had like, New Japan guys represented, but you also had a, an NWA World Heavyweight title match. And then you had Rey Mysterio as Wolverine at the end, so that's awesome. Right. Um, anytime Rey Mysterio is on the screen, I'm gonna and then I'm gonna had, freak out because uh, he dude, was my kid. I had the worst moment of my life the other day with Rey Mysterio is when we watched the Royal Rumble this past year when he he debuted or he returned. He came back. Yep. Oh my gosh! You were when, at the Rumble, weren't you? Or I was you at were a watching, couple of ones ago. Yeah. But I was watching it, and we were watching it. What happened was we're watching it on the Amazon. <laughs> Don't ever watch it on Amazon Fire Stick. It's terrible. So yeah. was, we should have watched it on the PS4. And what happened was we ended up fast forwarding by accident because we were behind a little bit. And right when it popped up, because we wanted to see the surprises. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, you got Rey Mysterio in the middle of the ring. Ruined our surprise. Oh, my God, We dude. were so the mad. The best part of that is his song. You hear the, the booyah kaboo, and then the crowd's kind of like, oh. And yeah. you just hear the explosion. Because yeah. I mean, because that's how it was. All my friends came over and we watched it. And it was fucking nuts. It was. He, I and went, he looked so good. Have you done song, the drinking game with which, that one? With the which Royal one? Rumble? Every time you just you pick a bunch of quotes that Michael Cole says. Oh and then my you take a, we should do that. You take a, you take a, you take a sip or a drink, <clears throat> whatever a shot every right. time Michael Cole says that. Like vintage Orton, vintage <laughs> this. Every time he says oh, vintage, yeah, you take a shot. Yeah, the, what Dude, is it? The, the big dogs on the hunt. And yeah, we did. Um, we did water. I don't drink, so um, I did water. And I tell you what, I think that probably caused my heart failure. I probably, <laughs> I probably <laughs> flooded myself out on that one. <laughs> now come to think of it. But so we're getting towards the end of the show, so I just want to do some uh, cleaning up real quick. What is your YouTube channel for everybody? Uh, the one, uh, assuming what? The one and only Michael Cruz. So uh, Michael M I C H A E L C R U Z. So no space, you know, all your spaces in between. The one and yep. only Michael Cruz. I need to get a shorter name because, dude, yeah. that's real tough. When I tell people, I'm like, damn, that's a long name. Yeah, well, our, dude, gonna- our original one was Gamers Anonymous, and people are like, how the fuck do you spell anonymous? I'm yeah, like, dude, there, I don't there know. It is. <laughs> I spelled it once, and it's there. Yep. The, yeah. the one and only. And it auto corrected. So. Well, um, so we did, we did want to announce. Um, on this show right here, the um, debut of geekculture.com. It's G33K Culture, C U L T U R E.com. Okay. Yeah. Um, go there for all of our shows and all the links and everything to YouTube. Um, and then we'll put a link for your stuff. Absolutely. In our definitely. That's what I was just going to say. Yep. I'll, I'll make sure to put a link on there. Uh, friends of the show, and definitely yeah. going to have you on there. Um, but. So, always check there. Ziggy, I think we've got some future stuff with you. <laughs> I'm think, sorry, uh, but before this show started, you were talking about your friend. You said he was Italian, 
And I was like, I, I thought you said he was Italian. No, and I was no, like, no, he thought he was talking about somebody else. And was I was Italian. like, Cruz is not a fucking Italian name. <laughs> that was going through my head. Oh, no, because we're talking about you said Mexican, and I'm like, no, you're Italian, obviously. Yeah, I'll put a Rican. Oh, you said Mexican. That's bad. Wow. Oh, no, I joke around no, because the joke in my family is that I'm Mexican. It's just straight up. <laughs> Every, my wife always, she goes, if I go, it's your cousins. It's your cousins on <laughs> always. I did that to my Puerto Rican brother-in-law. Oh, my yeah. very good friend, Jen, we... we we do that all because she's Venezuelan. Yeah, and we're like, just be quiet, Mexican. And she gets <laughs> so she's like, I'm not fucking ba-. like she gets more upset. And I'm like, whoa, come on, like don't joke. be racist here. Don't be racist. I mean, my I always God. say I'm gonna deport him. <laughs> so um, I was wondering how scared he got when the cop came in here. <laughs> <laughs> he was pretty relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, like, I got my papers. He's like, I'm good. He's, he's Puerto Rican. He doesn't, need, he doesn't he need doesn't papers. No, no, he was he was over there turning the battery up on his thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ready to run. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, gotta go. <laughs> if, you, if you check my battery, it went down two bars. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my oh. god. But um, so Ziggy, we're gonna we're you're gonna be seeing some. We more have stuff a very special the surprise for yeah, for you're everybody see some with that. More stuff hitting the channel pretty soon. Ziggy, you're gonna get to do something you like doing. I'm what, eating. I was gonna say, mm. Oh yeah. yeah, we're gonna be going to a little place called Crawling Panther. We won't tell you what they do, <laughs> but it's gonna be awesome. Actually, we're not gonna go to Crawling Panther. We're not. We're gonna be going to Death or Glory. Okay, we're going to them. Yeah. So, um, sorry, Crawling Panther. Yeah, I've already discussed it with them. Yeah. Works for me. Well, you know what? You, let's just tell. Them. All right. So Ziggy is getting our. Oh. If you see it on that side over there, he's getting our two jerks and some guests emblem tattooed on his person. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna be doing a live show while he, not live, but we can do live. We, we, could, get, we could stream it. Yeah, yeah we're we'll gonna give it. it. Yeah, yeah we'll I could stream, stream it. it live. I could put uh, it right on there. We're gonna stream it. Him on the website getting tattooed with our. Emblem on there, and that's gonna be fun. And then, Dave, we're gonna talk about story time. You should put so. sacrifice at all on it as well. <laughs> sacrifice, sa- sacrifice, sacrifice at all. all, even if it means <laughs> yeah, losing yeah, everything. Yeah, even even if it means getting a tattoo, a really yeah. chubby swoosh all. underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting a chubby swoosh. Oh man! Oh god! Sacrifice. At all. sacrifice. But so that was two jerks. Um, I'm Josh. I'm Jason. I'm Mike. I'm the badass motherfucker known as Ziggy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright. <laughs> <Cool>. Bye, guys. <laughs> we'll be back next week with more of this crap and useless information. Look for us on Facebook and YouTube at Geek Culture. Boy, isn't that fucking appropriate. <laughs> <laughs>